Hi folks. So I often get asked by you guys, so how do you let your work look so easy? And the answer to that is I use a lot of good tools actually. And I'm going to show you one of the tools today. And I hope it helps you the same way it helped me. So the tool is called After Detailer. And um, you can download it from this URL. Don't worry, I will put it down in the video description. And what this tool basically does, it's an image recognition and it can recognize a person, a face, can recognize hands and it can recognize body parts. That's what it's specialized in. So I skip the part where I inpaint faces, for example. Instead, I let After Detailer do all the work. So to install this, grab this URL here. I'll put the link in the video description. Then you go to Stable Diffusion. In your Extensions tab, you say Install from URL. You post it here and hit Install. So since I already have it installed, um, yeah, I'm not going to do it. So after it's installed, I would suggest you restart everything. You close your command window and just restart Stable Diffusion. After that, a small window should appear down here over Control Net if you have that installed. And you can just unroll it. And then you have additional parameters you can send to. You have here additional prompts you can specify. So first of all, you can pick a model from here and it has two face models. These are different models. Um, I use the first. I haven't made out a huge difference, to be honest. Um, you can use it for hands. You can use it for whole persons. Media pipe down here are also models, so you can test around with it. So for me, uh, Face YOLO 8N worked best and um, actually just stick with it. So after you pick the model, you have to enable it, of course, and then you can specify what you want. I rendered these images without after detailer and um, it doesn't look bad. Sometimes faces do, even when restore faces is turned on. So, but now let's see, um, let's give her some sort of grin and let's render it so you can see the differences. So it takes a little more time to render than before. So he renders the images and after that you can see he goes over each image and replaces the face or, or after details the face. Actually, he, but what he does is he inpaints the face. So you skip the step of inpainting everything. So as you can see, it's beautiful. So we have some freckles here and also we have the smile and everything fits so it's not just out of the picture, it really looks like it belongs there. So you slide it down here, if you have multiple characters, you can crank it up so that only the main character is taken. Um, I often have just one or two characters in the shot, so I don't use it that much um, because it only works if the faces have a different size. If the faces are equal in size, it uh, actually won't work. You will just inpaint both faces. So that's uh, the only drawback of this tool. Generally, it saves me a lot of time not sending the picture over to inpaint and then inpaint everything and send it back over and upscale it and downscale it. So you can just work with what you have. So one quick tip I will give you that is important, I think, and that is the following. 
So when you have uh, image enhancers like uh, Epi Noise Offset, for example, then it's good to put it in here as well because you want to draw the face in the same way. So Epi Noise Offset, it's for contrast. So you want the same contrast uh, in the rest of the picture as you want in your face. If you do not know what I'm talking about, when I say Image Enhancer Epi Noise Offset, you can watch my video Image Generation Made Easy uh, using LoRa's and Model. So, same goes for everything related to the face. What we did not do is Nordic female with long blonde hair. Long blonde hair is part of her face. So, long blonde hair, it ha would have to go in here. So, otherwise, if you have long blonde hair up here and you have red, he red hair down here, that doesn't have to, but it can have uh, a mixed... Uh, I can have a mixed bag for results, so let's try it. Long blonde hair, long blue hair. Or let's make it, let's make it extreme short blue hair. So let's see. Maybe it won't affect it that much and I'm wrong. But I have seen occasions where this was a problem. So, as you can see, yeah, it's not a problem directly. He handled it well in that case. But you can see you have some kind of blue hair in the blonde hair, which can be a look you want to achieve. So, if that's part of what you want to achieve, yeah, feel feel free, then maybe that's even great. I don't know. But I usually stick to with the same prompt down here for the face with what I do up here. Same goes for facing the viewer and detailed glowing eyes. I don't know actually what, what gotten into me when I wrote the, this prompt. Maybe this isn't from me and I copied it from somewhere because I usually structure my prompts better for face and body and pose. So, but this is a topic for another time. So for now, I hope you learned something. I hope you have found a new tool. Uh, try it out. Let me know what you think of it. Let me know what you think of this kind of video. So should I introduce more tools? Do you like it? Or do you say, ah, I have my own tools, my workflow is just fine. Let me know in the comments. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah, have a nice day. Bye.